It's time for Ask the County with Saginaw County Treasurer Tim Novak. Hey, thanks so much for being with Good us morning. this morning. Good morning. All right, so we're talking about front of the court today. So why don't you tell us all about what the role of that is? Yeah, so front of the court, that's the, the place where folks go. Unfortunately, things happen when parents mm -hmm. can't work things out on their own and they have to go to court to decide things like parenting time, custody, and child support. So um, this department, and then they really want to be open and access accessible to their clients and, and try to be really helpful because it really is about the kids and trying to make, how do we make things the best for the kids in a, in a really a troubling situation or bad situation. So they're really, they're opening up things like um, when the, if think about this, when the courthouse is open, they're open for walk-ins or phone call in appointments. Um, if you, they have, the folks have questions or they have needs that they want to uh, get through. So it's 20, really eight to five, Monday through Friday, um, either walk in or um, call on the phone. And then there's a, an account they can sign up through the state that they can, there's 24 seven access that they can get their questions answered in there as well. Sounds pretty accessible, but what are some of the new things that front of the court is doing to make it even easier to reach? Yeah, so what they want to do is they want to make sure that they're offering um, every third Thursday mm -hmm. and they do the, an introductory to the front of the court kind of a thing to walk through, you know, what do I do to get a debit card? Do I have medical expenses, questions I need to ask? Or um, I lost my job and I want to um, lower my child support or um, I want more parenting time with my kids. So they want to access that. So they're going to Butman Fish Library every third Thursday of the month. Um, it's Budman Fish is booked the rest of the year, so they're going to restart <laughs> that in January. They've been doing it for a few months and had good reception. So that's one thing, and I think that the 24-7 um, hotline through My Child Support really is another one that, that really set access to um, to help you know folks out through really um, stuff that's not real fun to deal with, but you know trying to make the best for the kids and. Uh, they're doing that for you. I like it. So what is the new alternative dispute resolution? So this is a method. So so there's a couple things. First of all, mediation is already available. And this mm -hmm. is where if both parties will agree. They can kind of come to the table and amicably work through some of these things. And a, 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 a alternative dispute resolution kind of works in the same way. Um, it's not as formal as a mediator. Um, somebody kind of really walking through um, what's best for everybody. What, you know, what each parent's looking for. Um, what's best for the child. So it's a, a form of mediation that's um, a, a little bit less formal and, and really is a, a neat thing, another way for, for pa parents and children and families to kind of work through their issues and, uh, and once again, it's what's best for the kids. Exactly. What are some of the other ways Friend of the Court is giving back to the community? So they're, they're, um, they spend volunteer hours at the VA hospital and Health Source. They've done um, backpacks full of school supplies to, to, foster, to foster homes. Mm -hmm. um, really a lot of different ways, um, uh, collections and donations for the animal shelter. So the department has really reached out to those in the community. Um, not just accessible for the clients, but really trying to make a focal point in, in helping others uh, in all different areas of the community. I like that. That's a good mm -hmm. goal. Well, thanks so much for being Thank here with you. us today. We really appreciate it. And if you have a question that you would like to ask the county, just send them to WNEM at WNEM.com.